finally, this festival is nearly over. I swear, these things exponentially bloat in length every year. It certainly doesn't help that I have to be in here for the whole blasted thing. It'd be so easy to simply show up and then head back to what's more important. Then again, if it keeps the peasants happy, I suppose gracing them with my presence for a few hours is better than having someone foolishly attempt to overthrow me. Oh, how thoughtful of you. A necklace forged in your smith shop? Thank you, kind blacksmith. I will wear it into battle when needed. I swear, these gifts get more repulsive every year. After everything I do for them, I've kept them safe, warding off attackers, and yet all they give me is such measly trinkets as thanks. Ugh, finally, it is finished. I can go home and... Oh, hello. Hmm, <laughs> well-mannered for one so small. Tell me, what have you brought me? This is what your bloodline produced? A mere doll? I should... Wait, wait just a second, little one. I... I didn't mean to attack you personally. I was... You're bleeding. Guards, stop them. Please, stop struggling. I don't mean to harm you. Take them to my carriage. Do as I say, now. Now. Where... There you are, child. <sighs> well, it is sweet you wish to address me with the respect I am deserving of. It is merely the two of us, my sweet. There is no need for you to be on your hands and knees and... Oh my, you're crying. Little one, what is wrong? Did my guards harm you? Look at me. Look. At. Me. Little one, please. Please breathe. Child, I mean you no harm, truly. I only wish to help you. Hey, hey, stop struggling. I only intend to help you. There we are. Nice and snug, warm and secure. Hmm? <laughs> Why, yes, you are sitting on my lap. It's where I want you to be, my sweet. Uh-uh-uh. As your queen, I am ordering you to remain here. Uh, yes, what a smart child. Now, there are a few things I would very much like to discuss with you. Hey, shh, shh, shh. Listen, I have no intentions of harming you, my little dear. I merely wish to talk. Now, it is clear you know who I am, but I would very much like to know your name. Ah, uh, what a lovely name. It's very beautiful. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe it means strength, does it not? Hmm? <laughs> you wouldn't dare tell me if I was wrong, even if I was. Oh, such a sweet little thing. Now, it is very nice to meet you. But I must ask, where did you amass such injuries? Even working on a farm or as a page wouldn't have put you in this much danger. Do you take me for a fool? Do you really think that... Oh... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to lose my temper like that. I promise I only mean... 
You deserved it? Speak now. I have no wish to harm you, as it is clear you are already hurt, but I will warn you, I do not suffer fools who refuse my orders, regardless of how young or old they may be. Uh -huh. These were lessons? What kind of lesson? Oh, my. So, you're telling me that the one who hurt you did so because you did everything they asked of you, yet they claim you did it wrong. <sighs> well, that won't do now, will it? What were you trying to do in the first place? Uh-huh. Clean, cook, tend to the animals. It sounds like you're a servant, but you're far too young to be one. Tell me, precious, who did this to you? I promise you, my precious little darling, whomever has harmed you shall never raise a finger against you again. Please tell me so I may help you. Your parents? Why? A worthless whelp. A thing which shouldn't have been born? A worthless cur whose whole existence only angers them? They spoke of you in such terms? <laughs> you tried your best to care for the family's estate, yet they treat you lower than dirt and beat you like a slave at every turn? How? How dare they? Because it was their duty? Because you were a worthless brat who should have been left on the streets when you were born. Oh, no. No, 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 please, please stop speaking of yourself in such terms. You are much more than that. And you aren't a slave. You aren't an animal. I promise you these things to be true. Child, why were you afraid to tell me these things? Torture you? Head! N nail your body to the castle walls. Oh, my precious little darling, what makes you think I would take such barbaric actions against someone so small and helpless? No, no, that was different, my child. Those were monsters who besieged our land. Brutes who gave no thought to their actions merely attacked and slayed those under my rule like wild animals for their twisted pleasure. While, while it is true, I did have many of them put to death for their actions, they were wretched monsters in every sense of the word. You, on the other hand, are a poor, poor child, one who has clearly suffered a fate which they did not deserve. Tell me, my little cutie, why were you at the Summer Solaris Festival by yourself? Or were they there as well? Huh. So you were all alone? My, my, you must be a very brave little one to make it this far on your own, to travel from your farm. All the way here? Most courageous indeed. I understand. You say that your family was too busy drinking to attend the festival, and the bottle they had saved for me, they... hit. But then, how... why... how did you... Oh. Oh. I see. So, you're telling me that you crafted this wonderful thing for me entirely by yourself, and then you came to the festival, even with your injuries, to deliver it, because you wished to thank me for all I had done? <sighs> a little one, this is such a sweet gesture. Tell me, how did you make it? 
then most wonderful here allow me to repay you for your generosity mm -hmm. <laughs> your cheeks are such a lovely shade of pink i could just pinch them all night long side of your sweet rosy cheeks and I wish to keep them as rosy as can be so I believe kissing you should do the trick uh, uh, uh. as your queen I am ordering you to sit still and let me kiss your adorable little face mmm mmm sweet smile and a pretty laugh. It's a wonderful stroke of luck for me that you're trapped here in my arms and you can't escape me. Uh -huh. oh. Don't worry, my little darling. You'll be well cared for from here on out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. such a nice laugh. It's as sweet as the honey from the east. Oh, you've given me a most wonderful treasure today, my sweet. Hmm? What is that? Uh, don't worry, you'll find out soon enough. Uh, now, we have a bit of a ride ahead of us, so... Why don't you close your sleepy little eyes and take a nap? Hmm? Oh, silly, silly, silly me. I forgot to tell you, for the time being, you'll be returning to the castle with me. I would very much like to get these injuries looked at, as well as get you a hot meal into your little belly, and then give you a warm bath to clean you up. Uh-uh-uh, I'll hear none of it. You'll be coming back with me, and that is final. Uh -huh. Such a sweet little thing. Rest well, my child. I'll wake you when we arrive. Things are going to be much better for you now. I promise. And those who hurt you will be brought to justice. They'll earn the price of harming a member of a royal.